News tonight in the nationwide manhunt for that murder suspect and the corrections officer who is accused of having a relationship with him and helping him escape from an Alabama jail. Tonight, where authorities have now found the getaway car and what they believe because of where it was abandoned. And of course, why did it take days to connect that car to the case? Here's ABC's Elwin Lopez now. Tonight, an Alabama sheriff announcing authorities have found the getaway car they believe was used by accused murderer Casey White and the corrections officer Vicki White, who allegedly helped him escape. There had been an attempt to spray paint it. Authorities had been searching for the car for days when they were alerted Tennessee police had actually found it just hours after the alleged escape. It was abandoned in the woods off of a Tennessee country road one week ago and towed to a local impound lot. Nobody realizing it had been allegedly used in the crime. Only yesterday did authorities put two and two together. The sheriff asked today if he has any idea where the couple may have gone. Did they steal another car? Did they hit a ride with somebody or something? You know, we don't know. What they say they do know, the inmates and the corrections officer are on the run, quote, flush with cash after Vicki price drained her bank accounts of some $90,000. Bulletins now out with pictures of the six foot nine inch inmates distinctive tattoos, including what looks like a Confederate flag. Police also releasing simulations of what Vicki White might look like if she dyed her hair. As for why she allegedly did it. It's obviously, you know, a, a jailhouse romance. Or something. Tonight, the sheriff directly warning the former corrections officer her life could be in danger. And you know we're going to find you. Hopefully we find you safe. Uh, if you're safe right now, still safe, uh, get out while you can and uh, turn yourself in to local authorities, wherever you're at. And David, officials say they believe the two ditched the car due to mechanical issues. The sheriff says that they are now back at square one and that the investigation is behind where they'd like it to be. David. All right, Elwin Lopez. Elwin, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.